This is part number 43 of preparation for NSE for exam, Fortinet. Let's talk about CPU, processor and RAM memory. Not all problems are network connectivity failures. Sometimes there are resource problems in the devices. What else could cause the latency, slowness? After we eliminated problems with the physical media and bandwidth usage, we need to check 40 gate resources usage, CPU and memory. If usage is high, there are tools that can identify which feature is consuming the most CPU and which feature is consuming more memory. Additionally, we can troubleshoot faster if we know precisely which change, if there is any change, which change corresponds with the time the problem began. Uh, so, we can identify the devices which uh, have the most CPU utilization and memory utilization. Um, and what was the last feature what we enabled? Uh, don't enable all features at the same time. Enable one feature at a time. We need to find how high is the CPU usage and why. For that, we use commands. Get system performance status and diagnose system top. If we want to know only the only one, for example, daemon or one top process, we put diagnose C stop one, and diagnose C stop lists um, processes that use the most CPU or memory. Some common processes are IPS engine. I in, so it stands for IPS um, for the intrusion prevention system engine scan unit d it's for scan unit daemon then those two ips engine and scan unit d are they uh, for inspection processes report d it's report daemon it's a uh, it handles database report generation and scheduling. FG, FMD. This used for FortiGuard and Forti Manager connections. FortiCron. It's used for scheduling. Management processes such as new CLI. It's a CLI command line interface commands in execution such as SSH or Telnet. Of course, SSH is preferable. Uh, don't use Telnet. MIG log D. This is a log daemon. SMDB. Yeah, you probably know what it means. Uh, it's a uh, uh, configuration management database daemon httpsd it's https daemon and we can sort up this diagnose sysstop uh, command output if we want to see cpu usage we put shift plus p and if we want uh, to no P stands like processor, I guess. And uh, if we put shift 
plus uh, M. M stands for memory to get the two um, buttons. Then it will sort your output for the highest memory usage, RAM usage. And uh, what is the memory conserve mode? If memory usage becomes too high, FortiGate may enter into memory conserve mode. While FortiGate is in memory conserve mode, it must take actions to prevent memory usage from increasing, which could cause the system to become unstable or inaccessible. So, as you know, it will affect that triangle uh, of uh, it. The data should should be available. Integrity. It will be in, in not touched, not modified. Uh, and availability, it will be not accessible, so it will not be uh, reachable. And memory conserve mode is never a desirable state because it impacts the user traffic. There are three conserve mode. Uh, uh, thresholds and they define how FortiGate enters and exits conserve mode. If memory usage goes above the percentage of local RAM defined in the red threshold, FortiGate enters conserve mode. So please remember there are three thresholds green red and extreme and threshold uh, when 40 gate enters conserve mode is red not extreme green is when the threshold at which 40 gate exits cons conserve mode let's say it could be 82 percent red threshold when it enters conserve mode it's 88 percent and extreme is threshold at which this device new sessions are dropped to con we can configure percentage for each of these thresholds for green red and extreme to configure it we go to globe, uh, global settings, so type config system global, then set memory dash use dash threshold dash red, and then put percentage, for example, 88%. Set memory dash use dash threshold dash extreme, we put Percentage when new sessions are dropped, let's say it's 95%. And set memory dash use dash threshold dash green. Green when 40 gate exits conserve mode, it's 82%. And then put end. This is the way how we configure memory conserve mode thresholds. And during conserve mode, what happens during uh, conserve mode? First, uh, system configuration cannot be changed during the conserve mode. Please note that administrative access is not affected. It's only system configuration is what cannot be changed. Uh, FortiGate does not accept configuration changes because they might increase memory usage. Second, what happens during conserve mode, that FortiGate skips quarantine actions, including sandbox analysis. 
uh, so it, it in, even including suspicious files to 40 cent box third what happens during conserve mode is that you can configure fail open setting under config ips global to confirm uh, to control how ips intrusion prevention system engine behaves when ips socket buffer is full if the IPS engine does not have enough memory to build more sessions, uh, then fail open setting determines whether the 40 gate should drop the sessions or bypass the sessions without inspection. It is important to understand that the IPS fail open setting is not just for conserve mode. It kicks in whenever IPS fails. Most failures are due to a high CPU issue or a high memory conserve mode issue. Enable the setting so that packets can still be transmitted while in conserve mode or during any other IPS failures. But they are not expected by intrusion prevention system. Disable the setting so the packets are dropped for the new incoming sessions, but allow 40 iOS to try to make the existing sessions work in the same way as non-conserved mode. Remember that the IPS engine is used for all types of flow-based inspections. The IPS engine is also used when FortiGate must identify the network application regardless of the destination TCP port or UDP port, for example, for application control. Note that and turbo does not support uh, uh, fail open setting fail open setting when it's enabled the packets can still be transmitted without ips scanning while in conserve mode uh, even uh, there is a setting enable fail open even though uh, it will still uh, be dropped even if it is enabled. Uh, what is N-Turbo? N-Turbo traffic is dropped even when fail open setting is enabled. N-Turbo offloads uh, firewall sessions that include flow-based security profiles to NP7 or NP6 network processors. And Turbo also offloads DOS policy, access control list, ACL policy, and interface policy sessions. Fourth, what happens during the conservation mode that the traffic requires any proxy-based inspection and if memory usage has not exceeded the extreme threshold yet. We can figure it also under config system global settings. To configure it, we use commands config system global set av fail open. There are three options off, pass and one shot. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the configuration of uh, fail open. Fail open is configured config IPS global set fail open and there are two options enable or disable and then end. If enable uh, fail open 
then packets can be transmitted without intrusion prevention system scanning while in conserve mode. And if fail open is disabled, packets are dropped for new incoming sessions. But FortiGate ties to make the existing sessions work in the same way as non-conserved mode. This is about fail open settings. And there is also AV fail open setting. AV fail open, they have not two options, enable, disable, but three. Off option set AV dash fail open. Off, so this command on the config system global uh, makes all new sessions with content scanning enables are not passed. Pass. Pass is a default setting and it is when all new sessions pass without inspection. One shot is similar to pass in that traffic passes without inspection. However, it will keep bypassing the antivirus proxy even after it leaves conserve mode. Administrators must enter change this setting or restart, it, uh, restart the device unit, restart FortiGate in order to restart antivirus scanning. So, however, if the memory usage exceeds the extreme thresholds, new sessions are always dropped regardless of the FortiGate configuration. System memory configuration mode diagnostics. We can diagnose it with the command diagnose hardware sysinfo conserve. This command is used to identify if a 40 gate device is currently in memory conserve mode. So we put diagnose hardware sysinfo conserve and in output if memory conserve mode is off it means that there is no conserve mode. If memory conserve mode is on, it means that the system has um, uh, memory conserve mode is on. Fail open session setting. This setting controls how 40OS handles a session that impacted by a UTM scan error when doing HTTP map e proxy or explicit web proxy. Fail open session configures by command config system global set AV dash fail open dash session and then enable or disable. If you enable AV fail open sessions, sessions are allowed. If you disable, which is default setting, it blocks all new sessions that require proxy based inspection. If AV fail open session is enabled, FortiGate allows all the sessions. Otherwise, by default, it blocks all new sessions that require proxy-based inspection until new sockets become available. For knowledge check, couple of questions. Which action does FortiGate take during memory conser conserve mode? Options. Configuration changes are not allowed or administrative access is denied. And the correct answer is configuration changes are not allowed. Next question. 
which threshold is used to determine uh, when FortiGate enters conserve mode, green or red? And the correct number is uh, correct threshold is red. Red threshold is when FortiGate enters conserve mode. Thank you. See you in my next video. Happy preparation for your exam. Bye.